Hello students. So today we are going to talk about infrastructure and in infrastructure we are going to talk about hydrogen train. So you know infrastructure is very important for Indian economy as well as nowadays we are looking for infrastructure which must have certain characteristics like that whatever infrastructure our government is emphasizing on must be inclusive in nature means the benefit of that infrastructure must reach to all. Number two, that infrastructure must be sustainable in nature means it, it must ensure sustainable development. So we are looking for such infrastructure and in that direction Hydrogen train is a big initiative. So, you know that India's first hydrogen train likely to run from Haryana's Jeend by 2024. So, we are having a first hydrogen train and that is a good news for India as well as for the people of or for the people staying in Haryana. Okay. So, India as well as Haryana. So, once we get successful in Haryana, the same hydrogen train will be replicate in other areas also. So, we will see the complete detail in this video. Okay. Now, after seeing this video, what benefit an aspirant must have? Like, first of all, we will talk about some basic gyan. Okay. Then, we will talk about prelims gyan. Then, we will talk about what is government intention in that. Or Sarkar ka kya irada hai. And then in the last, we'll talk about pros and cons. Or which we can say in Hindi, that is nafa nuksan. Okay. So we'll talk about these four dimensions in this video. Now, first of all, if you see the hydrogen train basically runs on hydrogen as a fuel. So we are using hydrogen fuel cell. So this is the basic yarn that you have to remember. Next, how basically your hydrogen fuel or you can say hydrogen train will run. So basically in hydrogen fuel cell, they are combining oxygen and hydrogen and that through that they are making electricity. Okay. And this electricity will further drive the motor train. So I'll give you, I'll show you the picture also. Just wait for a minute. Now if you see that hydrogen is a sustainable fuel. Okay. And you know hydrogen trains are environmentally beneficial as compared to traditional diesel trains even if I talk about electric trains also. Why? Because, because they does not emit any dangerous pollutants like nitrogen oxides, carbon dioxide and particulate matter. Now you know that these are responsible for, these are responsible for creating pollution as well as these are greenhouse gases which are responsible for climate change. So, as I told you that one of the characteristics of infrastructure is to shift for, is to shift for sustainable development. So, this hydrogen train can fulfill that. Now, this topic is relevant for your prelims also. Why it is relevant for prelims? Because if you see the previous year pattern or previous year question, they have asked a question on hydrogen CNG buses. So, this time we have hydrogen train. And next year, this is going to become reality. So, this is 2023. So, just few months are left. So, by 2024, you will or we will have a reality that we will have hydrogen trains in India. Now, how this work? So, basically this I have taken from BBC. Okay. So, this image I have taken from BBC. So, there you will see that hydrogen is stored in four fuel tanks. Now, this fuel tanks will convert hydrogen and oxygen into water and electricity. So, within the moving train, there is, there is a hydrogen tanks or fuel tanks. Okay. Now, this fuel cells will convert hydrogen and oxygen into water and electricity. Now, whatever energy that we have, that will be stored in lithium batteries. Okay. And ultimately, through lithium, that energy will go to your motor or you can say electric motor 
which will run the train which will run the train now we will we'll see some prelims gyan what type of question they can ask you so first of all i want to tell you that this is the first hydrogen train that will provide services from jind to sonipat okay so there is a jind district and sonipat district in haryana so it will connect to them okay so you can say this is the first route where you will see the first hydrogen train so you can expect a prelims question like as i told you that they have asked a question on hydrogen cng so you must know the first hydrogen train is this much this which is connecting jind to sonipat so or they can frame in this way that in which of the following state the first hydrogen train is introduced so it is haryana clear now this train will have eight bogies which we call coaches also okay which we call coaches also clear next if you see as per official information or data hydrogen trains are running only in germany although china is the second one but china is having at you can say they are using semi hydrogen engines but not completely on hydrogen okay so germany is the only country where trains are or hydrogen trains are running now other countries are also having or you can say they are on research and development stage okay or they are introducing it but germany is the one that has introduced in around 2017-18 clear so i'll tell you the name also now if you see what is the government intention or what is sarkar ka irada ab sarkar kaise isme develop kar rahi hai that is important now first of all what they have done indian railway has awarded a pilot project for retrofitment of hydrogen fuel cell on existing diesel electric multiple unit so you can say whatever diesel trains we have so we are doing retrofitting on that only okay so we are not creating any new train on the existing train itself we are coming with this structure we are coming with this structure okay so this is what we are doing that is why by next year this thing can become possible okay so our target is to achieve it or this train that will run in haryana from between jind to sonipat that will be possible only when you are using your existing resources or existing diesel train now this will be done at a cost of rupees triple 1 crore so you can say 111 crores okay so this is the amount that we are going to run now here we have to prepare ground infrastructure as well as train infrastructure so this include both clear now moving further once we will have it so we have a plan that field trials of the first prototype of jean sonipat section of nadan railway is expected to commence in 2023 24 so in this financial year itself so that by next financial year it will be it will be used fully or or it will be get operational fully okay so this is what we have a field trial in this financial year itself so this is what how fast government is working on that okay next once we get expertise in that government has a plan to run 35 hydrogen trains under hydrogen for heritage that is at a cost of 80 crores per train to matlab to make one train that is one train having eight bogies okay the cost will be around 80 crores okay per train and ground infrastructure that is railway track and all those that is needed at the cost of 70 crore per route on various heritage or hill routes so like heritage is like kalka shimla okay to so kalka and shimla is a heritage route so government has identified 35 routes where this train will be run and per route the cost will be 80 plus 70 so if you see the mathematical calculation also like 35 into 80 so this is what you can say per train cost so it will come out to be 2800 crore rupees okay 35 into 70 per route that is 2450 so government is going to spend total 5250 crore rupees on this hydrogen train in 35 routes okay but this cost is different from this cost remember this thing clear 
So this is what as a responsible citizen you must know how much they are spending. So UPSC can ask you per train cost and ground infrastructure per route cost. Although this is what for your uh, understanding I have done it. Okay, no need to remember this number. Okay, next. Now if you see benefits or pros and cons or you can say nafa nuksan for Bharat. So nowadays we are using a term Bharat, not India. Okay, so if you see the benefits. So one benefit is that like in some places it is very difficult to do electrification. So that is why train does not reach. Although India has a largest network or one of the largest network of railway. But still there are some areas where railway cannot reach to last mile due to electrification challenges. Now this hydrogen fuel can fulfill this dream. So hydrogen fueled train can reach there. Okay, so this is one of the benefit. Now, even as I told you that Germany is the one. So, in 2018, Germany has introduced one train that is known as Coradia Island is the world's first passenger train powered by a hydrogen fuel cell. So, you have to remember this name, Coradia Island. Okay, so this is what you have to remember. Clear? So, it can be an expected question here. Okay. So, this is the first train in the world. Okay. In India, it is on pilot basis we are running in haryana that is from jean to jean to your jean to sonipat so this is what you have to remember clear so i hope you have an understanding what basically i am telling you here okay next if you see that this zero emission train has a low noise level and emits only steam and water so ultimately no pollutants okay so this is the only steam and water they are releasing this train which has been tested in germany since 2018 can run 1000 km at a speed of 140 km per hour. So, ultimately, you cannot blame this or as a disadvantage that its train speed will be less. So, it can travel 1000 km at a go. Okay. At a go, it can travel 1000 km and 140 km per hour. So, it means after 1000 km, it needs to refill. So, that's enough. Okay. 1000 km is a huge distance. Okay. Next, what is the loss here? Now, government itself says or you can say as per government estimate that the running cost of hydrogen fuel train will be higher to begin with but over the time period it will be reduced as the number of train increases. So, they said that ki initially it will be costly but later on when we get success we can reduce the cost. Clear? So, ultimately they said that ki what will be the cost that to take for per kg person or per kg weight it will cost you around 492, okay, which will be 27% higher than your diesel one. So, no doubt cost is high, cost is high, but you cannot say this thing that its speed will be less. So, its speed is 140 km per hour, which is matching your diesel train also, clear. Now, this is about, you can say, this India's first hydrogen train. And this is an important part of infrastructure. So, you can expect a prelims question from this. So, 100% chances or I can say 90%. I will not take a 100% risk for you. Okay. So, I can say 90% chances are there. Okay. The question can be asked. Why? Because government has a focus on this. Clear? So, if you see or if you have any doubt. So, I hope you like the topic. Okay you get some input also and this is relevant for your prelims even you can use it in your mains also whenever question comes that our current infrastructure is responsible for promoting promoting sustainable development so you can say yes so you can use this hydrogen train as an example of green train okay so there you can refer it now if you have any doubt with respect to this topic so you can send me a message on my Instagram. So, there I can resolve your doubt. So, I will resolve your doubt in 24 hours. Okay. So, I hope you like the topic and we will meet soon. Till then, Jai Hind and have a nice day.